Okay, good morning, class. We begin with the second part of the explanation of the chapter, Local Government, Section 2, where we talk about the various forms of the local governments which are working for the benefit of the nation, or particularly the state where we live. Yeah? Now, the first was Nagar Panchayat. Nagar Panchayat, as the word tells you, Nagar, that means a city or a town, the outskirts of that area, which is still developing. It is not a full-fledged, well-developed town, but it's still developing. And neither it is a rural area, not a village type area. So, uh, a, the area which is better than a village, but it is still not fit enough to be called a city, those areas are looked after by Nagar Panchayat. Okay, children? Then we talked of Munis. Municipality. This is another governing body which looks after the working of the small towns and cities. Yeah. Then today we will be talking about the, another organization and the working city that is called municipal corporation. Now municipal corporations are found in those cities which are well developed and most of the time are metro metro cities. Leave the metro city. If it has a ma'am, your voice is not coming. You population. But but that smaller towns, the city are also developed. Is now okay. I'll be. I'll try a little loud. Okay. Okay. As in the case of smaller cities, are all divided into wards to elect members to local set government governing bodies. Here too, the number of seats depend, depends on the size of the population. All adult residents can vote, and anyone above the age of twenty-one can contest elections. So here again, they are telling you just like municipality. That means the governing body in small towns. Even municipal municipal corporation works in the same way. Here, there are also for elections. There are certain boards into which the things are divided, and in each ward, the elections are held, and only the people living in those wards in those areas of that town or a city go and vote for their candidate. They elect and nominate their candidate, and if that particular candidate is victorious, it is then that that person or number of seats are distributed among them in the certain ratios that is also equivalent to the population of a country uh, of a, that town supposing it's a highly populated then the number of seats would be little more than a thinly populated area where the number of seats would be lesser here and the age for uh, for elections is 18 plus that means anyone who is 18 up and above of age can go and cast a vote and the candidate who wants to be a part, part of the uh, governing body has to be 21 years of age only then he can contest an election and be a candidate okay next we come on to composition now composition means key what is it made up of so the number of elected members yeah, is off your camera all of you please switch off your cameras please Please, it's a request because then the uh, uh, more network is needed for all of And mine and Ma her Ma are Ma off. Ma'am, 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 camera is on. I don't want any interruption while I'm teaching. Please, I have said, now follow it. Now, composition, the number of elected members is usually between 50 and 100. Please underline. That means the number of seats could be either 50 or maximum 100. Yeah? Now, those cities, uh, those cities like Delhi and Mumbai have 134 and 221 members respectively. Please underline Delhi and Mumbai and underline the number of seats which are there. In Delhi, it is 134. You can just write about Delhi. In numbers, you just write 134 and for Mumbai, write 221. Okay, just in numbers so that you know the number of seats. Okay, the members elected elect a head who is known as Mahapur or mayor. Mayor. So now 
in every city you all must be knowing that there is a mayor the head of the city and he is also known as mahapaur okay so underline this mahapaur or mayor okay he is the head of that city every city has a head that is which is, which is having municipal corporation will have a head okay the a deputy mayor is also elected to take charge in his or her absence now there's always a deputy mayor that means if the mayor is not in a condition to work if the mayor is maybe out of the city then the work in uh, next in charge is the deputy mayor he takes over the working clear the members can also elect some experienced and respected people of the city to the corporation they are known as aldermen please underline aldermen now who are aldermen aldermen are those responsible people in the city who are quite renowned in their fields who are knowing the area who have been living in the city for a pretty long time and who know the place quite well so some members are also elected for municipal corporation through these aldermen okay so what are who are aldermen aldermen are those people who have been living in that city for a longer time they are experienced they are knowledgeable and wise people okay so those are elected and they must they could be in any field like supposing me i have been living in lucknow since long and maybe i am a very experienced and maybe i am very uh, um, known about i know the city quite well so maybe whatever field i am i am a teacher but if they think i am capable enough even a person like me could be called an elder man if they appoint me as for the post got it so it could be anyone no restriction the clauses should be well aware should be experienced and have been living within the city for a longer time koi outsider jo kal rehne aaya hai aur bahut scientist hai he won't get it okay you have to have been living here theek hai okay some seats are reserved in every municipal corporation for members belonging to scheduled caste and scheduled tribes now again there are certain seats which are reserved for the backward classes the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes then one third of the total number of seats is reserved for women one third is reserved for women clear yeah? some seats may be filled by nominated persons who have a special knowledge or experience of municipal administration then some knowledgeable people who have working conditions known about the administration of a particular city those people are also so nominated they are not elected by the common people nobody goes and cast vote but they are nominated that means they are appointed to do this work clear yeah? next the municipal corporation has the chief executive officer known as municipal commissioner now after mayor he is the head he or she is the head clear yeah? of that particular town or city clear yeah? now next to him or her the person who takes over the charge is the chief executive executive is the law formulating body checks that whether the laws which are made are being followed or not so the chief executive is known in here municipal corporation is known as municipal commissioner okay so the one who's looking after the implementation of laws is chief uh, is uh, municipal commissioner okay now the state government appoints this of this ma'am your mic is not coming this person is appointed by the state government state government is the one government looking after the entire state all the number of cities here yeah i am being loud and shouting child he or she seems that decision uh, sees that decisions made by the corporation act as and the departments of health engineering sanitation help him or her he or she coordinates the work between them and has the power to appoint lower level employees to the municipal corporation so now here they are telling you please do not do all this just do the class sincerely don't give a background and everything annoys me okay so now they are telling us that the work of the municipal corporation is 
municipal commissioner is that he keeps in charge, he keeps a look at every department, the education department, the health department, the sanitation department, the road building department, and all those developments which are taking place on all around. He's the head and he's looking after the departments, checking that all is done properly. Yeah. Now, this municipal yeah. commissioner acts as a link between the government who's ruling the state, who's looking after the entire state with all those uh, small towns and big towns. So he is a link between the government, state government, and the departments he's looking for. Got it? Will be problem in? The department people will tell him, he will tell the state government. The state government, if they have to give grants and money, they will give it to him. And it is he, he will switch over to the various departments for the work to be done. Yeah. So he acts as a link between them. Next, a municipal corporation is elected for a term of five years. Please underline that. It can be dissolved earlier if it does not function according to the rules laid down or is not able to function effectively. In such a case, new members have to be elected within six months so that the term can be completed. So supposing the election is, uh, the municipal corporation is elected for five years and after five years, the elections are held. But supposing they are not doing their work properly, then the case capability is, in such a case, the members are, uh, have to uh, be elected within six months. Six months time is given and new members are elected so that the term can be at least completed. Yeah. Next, functions of municipality and municipal corporation. A municipality is for the small towns and cities. Municipal corporations are for big metro cities, especially. Yeah. Now the functions of both of these municipality and municipal corporation are more or less the same. So their functions are more or less very, very similar. Let's move on. The functions of a corporation and municipality are generally similar. If there's any difference, as we have noted earlier in this chapter, it is only in the extent and scope that than in their content. Please underline extent and scope. Only their extent and scope could be different. Otherwise, the functions are more or less the same. As the corporation has more funds and autonomy, it can expand the scope of its operations. It can expand the scope of its functions to cope with the needs of the people. But broadly speaking, these functions are more or less the same. We can divide the functions of the urban local self-government into two classes, and they are essential or compulsory functions, and next is optional or voluntary functions. So now they are telling you that in spite of the bigger and smaller sizes these both have, their functions are just the same, especially when it comes to the working for the welfare of the people in their particular uh, town or city. So they, are, they have broadly divided their functions into two headings. First is the compulsory functions. That means go work jone karna hi karna once they are appointed as municipal corporation workers or municipality workers. So the work which they have to do compulsorily is called compulsory function. Now compulsory, the other name of it is essential. Ye zaruri hai. Zaruri kaam hai. So the first function is essential or compulsory functions. Now the next is optional. Ki karo, to bhi thik hai, nahi karo, koi baat nahi, nobody will check you. Now optional ka dousra word hai, voluntary. Ki that means, haa, kyunki mein power mein hoon, mein ye karna chaata hoon, mujhe karne ko koi force nahi karna, but mein ye karna chaata hoon, voluntarily. That means what I wish like doing, I'll do. Clear? Like supposing building of parks in every locality. It is not a major function of a government, municipal corporation or municipality. But if a person is nice, he will go and look after the parks. He will build more parks and renovate them. This is his optional or voluntarily he does it. Yeah, no government can force them. But if you're doing it, that means he's a good worker. He's looking after the locality well by 
building up more and more parks, establishing swings, etc., etc. in the park. Okay? Did you get it? Did you get it here? So let's move on to the first type of function, which is called essential or compulsory function. Now, the municipalities and the municipal corporation have some essential or compulsory functions as given below. Number one, public health. The first main function is to establish hospitals and dispensaries. Now, public health comes first. This is a major function. Yeah. Now, health ka jab hum baat kare, wo kya karenge? Yani ke hospitals and dispensaries banwayenge. Hone hi hone chahi. And if you think over, wherever you are living, whichever area in the city, think, is there a nearby hospital in each, each one of you, wherever you're living, online children? Wherever you are living, I don't want to know the place also. Is there a nearby some hospital where you can easily go? There has to be, yeah. right? See, every locality to make sure that there has to be a dispensary or a hospital. Yeah? Next, they also have to arrange vaccinations to protect people against diseases. Now, you all must have seen your parents visiting the area for vaccination, the COVID vaccination. They all must have gone. And you must have seen they must have gone to the nearby place, right? Because huh, ye ho us, us slot na milao, then they must have gone some other way. But otherwise, you knew that this place is a vaccine, this place is here, this place You all must have heard it. Na? So those are the areas, the dispensaries and hospitals are also providing vaccines for the general welfare of the people. And all this is coming in public health. Public key health. So health related first point that they have to open host hospitals and dispensaries. Second point, vaccination is to be looked after. Yeah. Then small uh, nah, vaccinations against diseases like let's see, smallpox, cholera, tuberculosis. It is also their duty to prevent adulteration in of food stuff. That is called adulteration of food stuff. So unka prime public health walo ki ye bhi hai ki they should check. That there should be no adulteration, there should be no milavat, okay, in the food that is given to the public. Yeah, so this is the third heading, third point which you can always think of when you talk of public health. Will you remember these? Take care next. Proper care is taken for sanitation and cleanliness of the town, which includes cleaning of drains and streets, removal of rubbish and garbage, and maintenance of sewage system. It provides public urinals and other conveniences. It keeps a check on food adulteration, sale of intoxicants, and the growth of slums in or around the city. Now, let me ask you one more thing. As you all are living, wherever you are living, have you seen the public toilets in your area? Think of it before you yes, say no. Yes, ma'am. But like in Hoga, public toilets. Like the place where I, I live, I know that there are two, three I have seen by I come, come here. So there are public toilets for public conveniences. Leave that. Have you seen the early morning sweeper coming and cleaning up the road regularly? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 